Reverse osmosis is a process for removing contaminants from water developed in the late 1940s, primarily for use by the U.S. Navy following World War II. The goal was to come up with a technology that would desalinate seawater to give uh, ships the ability to produce their own fresh water for drinking and cooking and use on board ship. The technology uh, has uh, specific advantages in that it will remove some contaminants that no other if effective means uh, is currently able to do, uh, primarily the salt. Uh, unfortunately, in order to remove the salt, a reverse osmosis system needs to remove 90 to 95 percent of all the dissolved solids in the water. Uh, that means that it gets rid of the bad things in the water, but unfortunately also the good. So the process is very simple. You take untreated water, run it through a reverse osmosis membrane system. And a membrane, uh, you could picture in your mind's eye a roll of cellophane uh, with millions of tiny holes in it. And as uh, you near the center of the roll of cellophane, the holes get smaller and smaller, sort of like feeding water through a funnel. Uh, eventually, at the center of the membrane, the holes are so small that only molecules of water can fit through the holes. Everything else is trapped by the membrane. Unfortunately, as you squeeze water with city water pressure through these tiny holes, the more water you squeeze through the holes, gradually the holes get larger and larger, eventually allowing contaminants to flow through along with the water. Uh, when the membrane is intact, the water should have 90 to 95 percent of all of the total dissolved solids removed. That would include the salt, uh, the chemical contaminants. Unfortunately, it also includes the healthy minerals. In most cases, that would be calcium and magnesium. Uh, when you remove 90 to 95 percent of the total dissolved solids from water, the big disadvantage of a reverse osmosis system is that removing that much of the dissolved solids also dramatically lowers the pH of the water. So the product water, although it is 90 to 95 percent, quote, pure, unquote, it's also highly acidic, having a dramatically lowered pH, which is typically unhealthy for consumption by either plants or animals. An excellent source of water for use in steam irons or room humidifiers where you don't want to have any residue when the water evaporates, but quite frankly, from a health standpoint, not much value for any other use.